Here we go. Time for some fun double crypts. Why don't you take the fossil? The fossil. Fossil. Greetings. Go in this map, bro. We gotta be fast. Yeah, I, I'm not big on big on those. All right, I gotta get through all of this in 30 minutes, and I gotta jump off of here. Or no, I actually got like 45 minutes, I guess. Should be enough time. We're gonna start with the Thunderfist. Gonna knock these out right away. Yep, knocked it out right out of the exi right out of the existence plane. All right, now what I really enjoy doing is double crypting high stakes gems. I have a tendency to get like four in a row in a given session. Let's see if I can start this off right with the level five empower awakened empower support. What do you guys say? Nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> so easy. So easy. <laughs> you guys can't take it. I mean, you I know you guys are like sitting there stomping to the ground like so mad. You're like so mad. How do you I need to get that luck? I want just a piece of that luck. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why. I'm happy though because I don't think I I think that's actually that might actually be the very first level five awakened empower support I've ever gotten because I usually don't do empower supports I do them less than anything else and they're they're actually kind of the highest stakes one because if they stay the same they're not really worth that much because you know you got the dragon heart card uh, but level five is worth a huge amount on that one because they're you know you can only get them that way. Oh, I mean, this is just like what happens to me every time. I'm just gonna like get no nothing good from the double corrupting items, but I'm just gonna make out like crazy currency on the double corruption gems. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. I'm down to do four in a row. Get my four in the my obligatory four in a row up uh, right off the bat with all the stakes one. So I mean, this is this is gonna be the second one in a row, and here it is for you guys. <laughs> uh, he must be. He can't. He can't keep getting away with it. He just can't. Can't get away. With it. I'm, I've already made huge money. Uh, anything can happen now. Literally anything can happen to these gems. It could just all go down, and every single unique could poof. And I still made crazy currency on the, the gamble. I could get literally nothing from the stack decks. All of it. I, I just I, I'm automatically like up 50 divines or something right now. Automatically. I'm just blessed. Blessed. I'm gonna need that because I divined that uh, rarity helmet like 70 times for no reason. <laughs> Here comes uh, number three. It went down. Quality went up though, so I'll level it back up faster. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes you don't got it. You just don't got it. Yeah, I printed 26 divines an hour without abyss or anything. That's garbage. So without my egg, without without either Aegis Aurora and without the Unnatural Instinct, I made about 21 divines an hour. But with both of those, with all three of those items, I made 26 divines an hour. 
that's how the spread worked on those. Copy. Well, I you know, I guess it's, I guess it's good that I failed that one because I still have to get four in a row, which means I got at least six more ups coming. Okay, that's got to be that's got to be what's happening here. Six up, six up in total. Probably probably all six enhances. <laughs> I just fail the rest of the high stakes one, get six enhances. Fine by me. I, I I've I just sold the last uh, five and level five enhance for twenty eight divines right before I started this. I was like, yeah, yeah. Boy, where are these rooms at? Well, you gotta do the maps in four minutes flat. Uh, Gull Gull Helm with shrines. It shrines is so good. Tr people still don't understand how good shrines is, even without the Gull Helm. A lot of these kill. A lot of the maps I cleared, I had a covetous shrine on. Like, probably like thirty percent of the legions I did, I had a covetous shrine on. What do you know? Oh wait, I I, I forgot. I forgot. I still got to poof something before I come in here. I mean, that makes sense, right? Because the last one went down, but the quality went up. So, of course, this one, the quality went down, so the level went up. So, I mean, all things all things in perfect balance. Perfectly balanced. RNG. You, you can't balance your RNG any better than that. I'm not killing the boss. No, I'm not killing the boss anymore. Wow, I hit I hit a double corruption again, but I can't get can't get R plus two R or plus two AOE or plus one gems on this. This is at least better than the other one, but I mean no, nobody's really gonna want this anyway. Can't post link. Oh yeah. Just uh, wait, wait on the Discord. Now uh, you made more currency than me then on that farm. I gotta. I mean, you you have better magic farm. You said you were slower though. I think I got unlucky. I think on average RNG, I actually got unlucky on that that farm I did last time. Perception versus reality, a little bit unlucky. Mm, nothing happened. Okay. It's hard to tell. Like, this is still brand new and exciting. So it's kind of hard to tell if you got really lucky or if you got unlucky. So it'll take a long time to figure it out. That goes right there. <laughs> you guys freaking out a little bit. Am I up a mirror? I, I just made a mirror, I guess. 